The boss is in the cab as well, so I better not spill too much this time. I think it looks damn good. Look at this stew, it's like a dust bowl. Morning Holly. There we are, we coming. Are you bad? Good morning, we're gearing up for an absolute belter of a day today. 29 degrees, I'm glad I'm not down in London, it's to be 40. 29 is just approaching too flipping hot, let alone 40. Anyway, Koo's all fed, let's go in. At yard two just now, I need to take this forklift over to yard three, across a field of wheat and then walk back to this yard to pick up that tractor. Rapper man's dropped off his forklift. This is where we enter the wheat, sacrilege. By the time we go back and forward with the trailers and the silage and whatnot, this wheat between the tyres here will be a, a bit goosed. Wheat's looking good though, this is sake, this variety. There we are, Kev's already started his bailing. Abandon that, walk back to yard two anyway to pick up the tractor and trailer. That's the yard I've just come from. Deer versus dog. Who's going to notice the other first? Dog, you've got no chance. Come on. Tell you what, if it was like this all the time, it'd be lovely. Head out to the field and stack some bales onto that trailer. I'm not letting the dog in here anyway. Seeing that already needs a bit of a sweep out. I'll need to roll that bale out. Baler wasn't playing ball. Baler made a meal of the first bale, so just roll it back out and then Kev will get in behind it and just bale up again. What I've done is I've left that really straight for Kev to bail. Straight as an ar arrow. It's only nine o'clock and it's roasting. Right, that's dad just arrived with another flatbed, so he's going to load me just to speed things up a wee bit because there's a guy from IAE here and um, to talk about cattle handling it handling equipment. We're in motion now, that's that loaded, I'm just strapped down the front. Right, first load back, I've been a bit keen with the bales, I put far too many on. Should just be doing a single along the top, we'll just crawl back. I made it back, the bales are still there, the trailer's still upright. Far too keen on uh, what was on that trailer. But... That's the wrapper pulling up, perfect timing. Right, spoke to Andrew from IAE, so he's going to come up with a few ideas, a few suggestions. They'll know a lot about these systems and good approaches and bad approaches, so bring more ideas to the table. There you go, that's how the wrapper works. Knife will come up and cut the wrap in a second. I'm in a bit of a rush though. Come on, hurry up. Oh, we're not going to see it. There it goes. Nice. All the machines are going now. And I'm going to nip down here. Out through that gap and away we go again. Baler seems to be working better now. There's not any dud bales. There's, there's kind of five or six need to cut open and rolled out again. Just maybe a wee bit rusty the machine or I don't know, but they look a lot better now. I wouldn't call it silage though. It's not even, there's a bit of moisture down the bottom, but Baler seems to be going fine now. It's a good baler on straw, really good. Silage is yeah, it's not that great. Into the song of it now, Dad's just loading up his trailer, I'm heading off. Kev's getting across the field. Mid afternoon and we'll be done here. That's another load done. This tractor turns really sharp. There's Dad charging on. That's a T7 210, that's the one that sits on a sprayer normally. And a flatbed that we've borrowed. We're just, just keeping up with Kev, so working fine. I'm just strapping the first set. You know how you don't need to, but last year I dropped a bale off the front end and broke the top link off the tractor. So especially when I'm driving a tractor with only 10 hours on it so far. But I'll, do that. I'll just put a strap on. If a, if a bale falls off the rest of the trailer, it does not matter at all. We're not on the road. I'll just roll into a hedge or something. Good to go, another load. Smash in. You wouldn't think this tractor was new, would you? Subscribe if you've not already. Go and click it. We're heading for 8,000. Cheers. This is load number four for me. There's basically no moisture in it at all. It's nothing like silage. Probably a few hours off of being hay. Right, I'm just gonna jump out here and roll these ones out. They didn't wrap. The net didn't work too well on them. 
just been rolling that out and a big chunk went under the forklift here and I've up and got it wrapped around the prop shaft. On. That's it. Right, we're clear. It just came in here in a spinning prop shaft that just took hold and boof, 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 wrap, 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 wrap until it was didn't want to budge basically. Tell you what, they were not lying when they said it was going to be really hot. That's the field after we finish silage. We're going to winter barley or well variety. Did consider going to. Tardis, which is a seed variety we're growing first, so we didn't have to clean out a combine. But it's could do with these two really hot days to try and kill it off a bit more. Two bouts left to bail. I've just loaded up, so I'm heading back with that. Dad's gonna get one, I'll get another, and then Dad should finish it after that. So I'll have one more load after this, and then I'll be putting a bogey on the back to fill it with barley when we get moving. There's a field, hopefully, we'll get wiped out tonight. I'm gonna to need to make a pit stop, I'm out of water. And that's a wrap. Other than shifting a few more loads of bales, big silage season of 2022 done. One tiny field. Just this patch, which is in a greening zone, so it gets left till the 15th of July, so it can be cut. Can get fertilizer, so don't get a huge crop off it. I think there'll be 170, 80 bales there, thereabouts. So me and Dad will get these bales finished here. Kev's taking the reel along to the field that we're starting to cut in the barley and Dunk's gonna grab the combine. And once I've finished here, I'll go put a bogey on and I'll meet them along there. There she blows! Combining! Harvest 2022 is a go. There's another 19 bales to come. Rapper man's had to disappear because he's got bailing to go and do. He said he'd be there at someone else's this afternoon, so he's gonna come back later or, just, or tomorrow morning. Done. Well, there's three bales there. Dad's just grabbing the last two, chuck them on there, and then there's a wee scraggler he'll take home. There we go. It's kind of the first day's work for that tractor, to be honest. It's been nice so far, easy going. The wheat fared not too bad. This is the worst bit, just coming out in and out of that gate. There's flat bits, but this tractor and the trailer I've got on didn't really affect the end rig, but the, the flatbed Dad's got on, it sits quite low and it's stripped all the heads off. And the combine's off. That's just the top of it right there. It's just coming out of a hollow. So we'll get that field wiped out. Hopefully all going well, hopefully all goes smoothly. There you go. Right down there. I better get a move on. Look at this stir, it's like a dust bowl. Oh, just reversed into some wheat. Don't tell the boss. Uh, me and Dad are just unloading both these trailers. There's another one there. Dunk is combining his flashers on. I can see his beacon. There's no trailer there yet. Hopefully Kev gets there before I do. Perfect, Kev's made it. Kev's there. Get Dunk's still going, so perfect. And by the time Kev's full and Dunk's flashing again, I should be there. Just leaving yard number two, off to yard number three, via the Weybridge, which is perfectly situated right there. We're only ever weighing a uh, crop from yard three and we're taking it to yard one and the Weybridge is on the way back. Perfect. And we're off. Kev's had one load so far. I will empty dunk probably somewhere around that corner. But it looks a good crop, thick bout of straw anyway. There's a lot of straw in, I think everyone's winter barley at the moment, which will probably be needed because I think a lot of the spring barley about the country is short, short, short. Combine's going well, sun's shining. Oh. Fantastic. Beacons are on. I'll just head over here and catch them that way. Oh, what a piece of kit. Glistening in the sunshine. Just trying to figure out the best way to top off this trailer because I filled that bit there on normal pedal mode. I just didn't have the control to keep the spout right at the back. I don't know whether it'd be easier doing it on joystick mode. I'm gonna try joystick mode, but you can you can adjust the amount the joystick moves the speed with every nudge, so I'm gonna rattle that right down. So, and I'm gonna see how that works anyway. It might result in spilling quite a lot of it, but I uh, got to learn somehow. I lose after the initial spill off the back it wasn't that bad it wasn't the easiest that I've definitely not got the hang of it 
the reason we're going over the Weybridge with this, we tend in this ground, so it's a profit split um, of what any, what any money we make off of the crops off of this farm. So we weigh it because sometimes this will get mixed in with our own stuff. If we've got own feed uh, barley, which we do, that will get mixed in with that. You could work it out off the combine, but going over the Weybridge is the most accurate way. We also account for moisture changes, so if we combine it at 18%, that weight is going to be much different to if we combine at 14% because there's that there's 4% moisture missing from the crop. There's standardised data on uh, the weight loss per percentage of uh, moisture in barley, wheat, whatever we're combining. So we just then account for that in our tally. Back home with my first load, I've actually locked the spools to the back door. Quite handy just being able to do that on the screen because I am pretty good at opening the back door in a field with a full load multiple times. We're dumping just on the end of the pit. We've not, we've still not actually uncovered the pit, but this will be coming in at 14, 15%. So it'll be going through the dryer really quickly. If anything, it's just going into the dryer really for a quick clean and a cool down. So the dryer is going to keep up no bother. So there's no rush to get on with it. So all I do, unlock, and then I can lift the spool. There you go. And we've got barley. Mind the roof, it's up to good in. Saying that, I'll jump back onto the other tractor and uh, empty the back door of it. It's all going pretty smoothly, that's half the field done already. It's not a big field. Dad's just pitched up on a tractor, I'm not sure why. Coming off at 15.5%, we thought it would be a bit drier than that, to be honest. Um, kind of below 15 and you don't really need to dry it, um, so it's going to need a, a bit of drying. The boss is in the cab as well, so I better not spill too much this time. That's more like it, I've nailed that one. Bank on the combine was, was empty, so I would have got a wee bit more in there. I think I've got it right now on uh, joystick mode setting the limit to how much it'll move per per nudge putting that quite low it gives you a lot of finite adjustment this is load number two and then i just need to go back along for maybe five six seven ton then that's that field wiped out and done opinions down below the fence on the stewart trailers i think it looks damn good last few widths there of barley to cut it's about 10 past eight we've done it quarter to nine or so sun's starting to go down I'll get the last of it in there. Kev's just topped off his trailer. He'll head back to the Weybridge, get a weight, and that'll do. And that'll be us, first field of 2022 done. Kev's heading off to the Weybridge, which is that direction about half a mile. Same again tomorrow, winter barley, feed, no seed tomorrow. What an evening, with the header back on the reel. Job done. I'm off home in that. Dunk's off home in that. Cheers for watching. If you've not already, subscribe. Tomorrow, more combining. All going to plan. We should get all of the other feed barley cut. We've got one, two, three fields to cut tomorrow. And then the day after that, if the weather's decent, um, we'll be on to seed. We might leave the seed in another couple of days or so just because it didn't get sprayed off. So we'll see how it is on Wednesday, come Wednesday. Sing.